Welcome back to Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone the game. We're on part 11. Awesome. And check out those shiny magic stars. That means I've got all the spells. Nice. And we're still in the Forbidden Forest where we have to go to for detention. Again, Hogwarts is a pretty shitty school the more, you, the more I think about <laughs> it. All on our own. They allow trolls into the... See, it um, makes sense. Trolls into the school. A evil chess board. It all sorts of stuff. Hey, they don't just let them in. They let the bunk down in the cellar. And also... To be fair, the chess board is... Then they have some surprise when the control just happens to be there. And also, and also when they have magical shields put up, they can be easily destroyed. Flippendo! Flippendo! So yeah, more <laughs> me trying to cast a spell on the turtle's backside. And sometimes it doesn't work. Oh boy. Oh. Don't you just love it when, when games do that? You do the thing the game wants you to do, but it doesn't work. Oh, oh yeah. Or, or maybe I just didn't cast it hard enough. Ow. Wait, hang on. I cast it from that angle before and it didn't work earlier. How come it works now? <laughs> <coughs> Who knows? <laughs> yeah. And, and also think, if, if there's... Okay, also, if, there's, if you're wondering how come... How come... This this how come I'm recording it off the disc? I'm playing this I'm playing this on via the PS3. Wait, oh. the PS3 had backwards compatibility? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I knew about like the PS2 backwards compatibility, but I didn't know it could also do PS1. Yeah. Well, only if oh, you, I... only only a few launch ones could do PS2, Jova. Yeah, basically, when the PS3 first came out, it was backwards compatible, and I mean backwards compatible, not emulating. Uh, it was exactly the, 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 the same way that the PS2 was fully compatible with PS1 games. The, the original PS3 Pat was compatible with PS1 and PS2 games. The problem is that, that that's one of the main reasons why it was so expensive at the time. So they had to cut off it, the PS. Yep. The, the, so they had to let go of the backwards compatibility in order to properly de decrease it to a price that people could actually you know afford. Wasn't that the case with some of the later PS2s that they uh, stopped? With the not really. The, the the slim PS2s are pretty cheap. So I've got the I've got the version that's backwards compatible with PS1, but not PS2. Actually, Dwebs. Um, uh, so there was a difference, of course. I thought that was odd. I, I knew about the PS2 backwards compatibility. I didn't know they were also backwards compatible with PS1. No, I thought they've, they've always been. Uh, PS1 games have, uh, are still uh, able. You are still able to play PS1 games even on the more recent PS3s. The problem is that unlike the original fat ones, it's actually emulated. So uh, they, basically, they have a pretty much a flawless emulator that can pretty much, pretty much run everything pretty much flawlessly. Like for example, Dwebs, uh, is your PS3 fat, slim, or super slim? Fat. Ah, okay. So th when did you buy? Do you know the year of it? 2006, 2007. I I got it like I think I got mine late 2007 for Christmas. All right. In that case, yours might just be one of those that uh, is still uh, backwards compatible. Actually, there's a, the, 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 yeah backwards compatible uh, <laughs> instead of emulator. I don't know. It, it depends on the when the it, PS3 when... I had was the 60 gig fat one. So yeah, mine was backwards compatible with both PS1 and PS2. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a shame you sold uh, that Shiroi because uh, uh, those PS3s are rare now and they actually sell for a pretty penny on eBay. <laughs> Aren't they on Amazon in plentiful copies? Uh, the, uh the, those... pretty sure they are. Really? I don't know. I'm... Yeah. Uh. Yeah, have a look. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Oh. oh boy. Oh yeah, she's right. And yes, that's Harry Scar hurting. And he died. Da 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 da. 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 Hey. <laughs> well, sorry guys, I got to restart the whole game. Yep. Yeah. See, see, he's doing the the thingy and all. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, right. Okay, I'm at 4.32. Count me in when you get there. Okay. On his back to safety. Ferenzi. Ferenzi explained the unicorn blood okay, and go. Alive, who was an inch from death. All right. He realized that the hooded figure he'd seen in the clearing was none other than he who must not be named. What is it called? Voldemort. You know, I'm surprised they pronounced Voldemort correctly, considering Knots and Flamel. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm still bitter about that. Oh, oh okay, okay, this explains it. See, the, yes, sure, they're selling it, but uh, it's available from sellers, not from Amazon themselves. Okay. But wouldn't that be the same on eBay? <laughs> on eBay, yeah. But... Depends. Yeah. Um, the, the thing is that eBay, uh, the thing is that when, when it comes to eBay, they actually sell them for quite expensive because they know how um, how rare they're, they're getting. Oh, now now we're introduced to the to the magical flute. Oh boy. Some creatures find music very relaxing. If you play the right tune, you can send them to sleep. So it's like In a fuck Oh wait, no, the fuck is the opposite. That I <coughs> the yeah. Fluffy. Try it Actually, uh, yeah. the poker flute makes him go away. He needs a good long sleep. More rhythm games. Basically, you have to tap what the highlighted button until that meter in the middle goes that goes all the way down. And I cocked up. <laughs> okay, I actually quite like the Harry Potter game themes. Like Especially a... Prisoner of Azkaban, that one's my favourite out of all the game themes. Well, you'd best yeah. be getting back to your lessons now. Thanks again, Harry. You're a real friend. Well, that one's my favourite out of the good ones, anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the good ones range from the first game up till <laughs> Goblet of Fire. I mean, I haven't played Order of the Phoenix, but I have played half Blood mm. Prince. Flamel! He's the creator of the Philosopher's Stone. Supposedly, yeah. Well, they said that, right? It's, it's philosophers, user. not it's sorcerers. Snakes after it. There are even rumors that you know who's Seriously, Joe, I feel sorry for you. You have to get the Dommer name. Fluffy. Why was it changed, anyway? I don't because understand. I'm, because, because, I'm, because sorcerers are much more awesome to Americans than philosophers. You know how it is with America. They always yeah. like to have the more... Uh, and, Joe, and Joe overdropped, so we're going to have to rely on your recording, Pedro. Ah, uh, we're fine. Don't worry. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So, now we're going to get the, um... I think we're, I think we're now on our way to go to the, um... Forbidden Floor. Oh, uh, well. So, yeah. End game time. Oh, we're nearly there already? Yeah. We are. Uh... I didn't think we were far off, but I didn't think we were that close either. Yeah, again, you know, most of these kind of games are kind of short. Found those blue every flavor beans yet? No, I no. never will. Now go away. Again, I'm not a 100% person. Depends on the game. Yeah. You know, if I had the um, if I had something better than Windows Movie Maker, I'd have done the effect where you can go super duper fast. Mm -hmm. Well, when I record these, I think the video files will come out in quite bigger size because I only have iMovie. Okay. So I might deliberately, even though the quality wouldn't be as good, I might deliberately save them in MP4 just so I can upload them in less than two hours. <laughs> Is Pedro still here? I'm here, I'm here, yeah, don't worry. Okay. I'm yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just joke. <laughs> But, oh, I don't know. So, but, but before we do that, let's check on our house points because priorities. Yeah. Of course. We need to we need to there stop Snape. But first, let's check our house points. <laughs> well, as we learned, the big bad will always <laughs> wait until we're ready. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's have a look. Unless it's Harry Potter four, where they sort of did things when we weren't ready. Yeah. Because that was sort of the whole point. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to Purple because Shouty Dumbledore, even though it's out of character, is so funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just put your name in the cover of fire. Oh uh, yeah. Again, I don't blame Michael Gambon for that. I blame the director Mike Newell. <laughs> Who would let? I mean, I've heard he has directed a couple of good films, but um, well, I'm not quite sure how. Much Pedro will buy that, considering he's seen the Prince of Persia film. <laughs> yeah, and it sucked balls. <laughs> yeah. Well, then again, uh, uh, that's not really just mine. I'm like, I'm pretty much uh, nobody really liked that movie anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and now let's collect these yellow beans. 
More beans. What's this game's fascination with beans? Well, this franchise is well, not well. Okay, the the first, the, I think the first couple of games had the obsession wow. with um, beans. They have them in the third game, I think, but they're not mandatory. You can get extra. You can buy extra spells from them from Fred and George, but yeah, yeah. The third game's mostly relies on teamwork. Yeah. I'm okay. not in the co-op kind of way. <laughs> yeah. So let's try and find the third floor. Okay. Hello. Don't you just don't you just love these early games that had to load them <laughs> on? I mean, thankfully the loading times are pretty short. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, a lot of same. games these days still do have to load, though. The, 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 the same thing with Sonic 3, 3D on the Saturn. Well, depends. Like, if it's something... Depends. This was this was, this, this was 2001. Well, depends, Joe. If you're talking about something like a GTA game, yeah, the GTA, every time you start up GTA, you have to wait for a load time that's quite long. But uh, you kind of give it a grain of salt, because after the loading <laughs> is done, you can in GTA 5, you can pretty much go anywhere and everywhere without load time, so... Hurry. In most DS games and 3DS games, you can go around without much loading. Well, but that's because uh, the, the 3DS is just carts, uh, so, yeah. it's, so, so it's much easier. So, now we're on our way to get the stone. Hmm. Alright guys, are you ready for this brave adventure? This yes. risky venture? But first, let's check the house points again. What? <laughs> but of course! Why did you, why did you go and check them and then... I didn't. I didn't know it would do this. Oh. <laughs> Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff are kind of shit, aren't they? I know. We always get the short end of the stick. <laughs> oh. Nine. Ninety-six. Ninety-six. Oh, bugger <laughs> off. <laughs> Slytherin are cheating. Gryffindor. Oh well. I only get forty-five. But... Slytherin are in the lead on house well, points. Well, poo. Woo. Boo. Yeah, even the even the even the game's booing it. <laughs> I mean, could you imagine what if like Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff were winning? I think this is how it works in all the games. I think it's either Slytherin or Gryffindor always. I've never had an op I've never had a point where Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff have ever been in the lead, ever. JK Rowling hates the colours <laughs> blue and yellow. <laughs> Primary So colors. there's a there's yeah. Fluffy. Yeah. Oh. Jesus. Only Hagrid can call this monster Fluffy. Of course. <laughs> Harry, do you mean Are you talking Harry about the dog? Yes, the yes that's right, Barney. Quick, use your book. Maybe that'll do something. Yeah. Of course, Joe. For the power of books can destroy anything. Have you never seen the Page Master? Yes. I have. Basically, don't no, get no, too no, close. That reminds me. I should definitely pick that eventually. For, don't get, uh, don't for get, don't get too close to Fluffy, otherwise that'll happen. Basically, you have to cast, you have to do your music on all three dogs' heads so that they fall asleep. Music. But, thank, but thankfully, it's not like the PC version, because in the PC version, you have, to, when you put one to sleep, they gradually refill and wake up again eventually. Mm. But thankfully, in this version, they stay asleep when you've put them asleep. So, at least I don't have to go through that. I'm like a certain Welsh person I know. <laughs> and I managed to survive that. Oh. Oh. Ooh. You know... I was copying, I was copying the this game is Sonic, a little... e, Sonic Unleashed E-Rank music. This, this game is a little too much QTEs for me. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine it now, there's like... I can imagine your reaction, Pedro. There's there's a, there's a game where there's only one QTE section in the entire thing. Uh, <laughs> that, we, are, we, are, we, we already have that, Wims. It's <laughs> called Beyond Two Souls. No, imagine. No, I mean, there's only like. I mean, there's like. No, I meant like. The game is mostly proper gameplay, but there's only one QTE section in it, and then you'll hate the game just for that. <laughs> mm, well, I don't hate Sonic Unleashed. Sonic Unleashed has plenty of QTEs, even though it doesn't need to. I know what this is. It's a devil's snare. Oh, I'm so glad we know what it's called. That's a great help. From, from, from <laughs> the, the, the thing with me for okay. use the incendio skull to Let's defeat start. it. Try not to get too close to those tentacles. Yeah, basically we have to cast. I didn't know this. I didn't know this yet, but um, 
You have to clasp the pendo on the um Ooh. on the vines that are highlighted green. <laughs> I didn't know yeah. that, so I died. <laughs> but the thing for me with uh, with Sonic Unleashed is that um, I find that game to be both overrated by fans and underrated by critics. It's it's a weird thing for me. Like so, for it, you, it, it's, to you, it's just okay. It's a good game. But it has a lot of problems that a lot of fans tend to ignore, uh, whereas a lot of critics tend to overblow the flaws to ridiculous IGM. extremes. Yeah. Well, the critics kind of seem to have it against Sonic anyway. So I, 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 I know, I know, but this one. Uh, but, I mean, hell, but, even even with even with generations, they were bashing the French just because they're there. That's even why I even don't though they have no impact games. on the gameplay Not whatsoever. Not, just Not to mention out game informer talks about. They're usually very misguided. Like they deliberately go after the Sonic series, so I tend to ignore the reviews for the games. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, especially Game Informer. Seriously, except their generations review. Except for a few uh, exceptions, like some call me Johnny. Basically, that yeah. well, well, as far as, as, far as Sonic reviews uh, are going, uh, so the, game, the, the new game trailer staff uh, uh, is actually pretty kind to Sonic. They were actually pretty kind to Sonic Lost World, unlike most critics. I mean, hell, Jim Sterling gave it a not not an entirely positive review, but um, he was more kinder to it than some of the critics. He, like he, he himself said that the main reason why he, he was so positive about the game is because he loves the concept. He thinks if Sega refined it, it could have become amazing, which I can agree with. The problem is, of course, yeah. Sega. The problem is, that, as we all know, Sonic Team is ADH is as the DD, and they can't stick to a fucking concept. <laughs> <laughs> well, though, to be uh, fair, let's be fair. We don't know a whole lot about. Um, the How much Sega may have... Uh... Or, the, or the new Sonic Team game, yeah. True, but let's face it, uh, we all know how Sonic Team is by this point. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I still find that Sonic Team can eventually give a good game. Like I said, I still no, like I'm, it. No, I'm not, I'm not talking about if they're making a good game or not, uh, Joe. I'm talking about whether or not they'll pick a, a formula and stick with it for once. That's what I mean. Well... Well, that depends, considering how Sega tends to often sometimes have a high word in that. We have to remember, a lot of the time, sometimes it's Sega that's sort of the ones rushing Sonic Team or sort of pressing them to go with a different but, idea. But, but, but if Sonic Lost World was supposed to be a rushed game, then it wouldn't be much easier for Sonic Team to just stick with the boost formula? I mean, from, oh, what, I've, from what I've heard on a technical standpoint, te technically, Lost World is runs fine. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a problem with it's the way a it's, game. It, it, it's a functional game. And it, it's even polished. It's just that uh, it's just the overall design that, that, that is problematic. <laughs> well, I, so well, anyway, we've, we've done the... Um, miss, okay, but, we, can, we can discuss that, Sonic at... Um, okay, so what's going on now? Basically, we defeated the big vine. Basically, what we have to do is you have to cast Flapendo on the smaller vines yep. that are highlighted yep. green and then cast Incendio well, so no, no, cast them, so, put Pendo um, at the bigger so, vine, and then cast in Zendio to properly defeat it. So if I know my st my Philosopher's Stone story correct, we're almost done. Goes to practice. Yeah. Good luck, Harry. Now we've got to do the um, catch the key Quidditch thing. So, you know how much he, he, I love the broomstick controls. Here's a question. Uh, can you pretty much just, you know, stick to the story of the movie, or do you really have to, you know, do a lot of the side stuff that is exclusive? Um, again, it... Again, some some parts are closer to the book, some parts are closer to the movie. Yeah. But what I mean is, like, do you have to do every single like, <coughs> things you've been doing, like with the peacock shit? The, um, um... Yes, you, yes, you do. Ugh. Oh no, yeah, yeah, guys, remember how much I love the um, broomstick controls in this game? Oh yeah, totally. They're better at the PC <laughs> version, but yeah, yeah. Basically, you have to go through these blue hoops, and, and no, I can't go any faster than this. Well, then there's no time to waste. Basically, <laughs> you have to you have to get, you have to get the that meter there. Well, when you fly through the blue hoops, it fills up your meter a little bit, but it gradually goes down as well. So you have to be quick. Problem is, I can't go any faster. Yeah, but seriously, there's though. not an acceleration button or something. Yeah, there is. I'm pressing it now. But seriously, what? But I can't go any faster, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. Is it like the kind that you're supposed to rapidly press, maybe? No, I, I tried that too. It doesn't go any faster. Really? <laughs> so you're holding the acceleration button? Yeah. 
That's oh, weird. looks like you're going faster somewhat now. You're able to get to each hole that's now. Only because I'm, that's only because I'm going through these blue hoops. That's why I'm going faster. I mean, like, oh, isn't that, was... that the idea, though, to go for the blue I mean, hoops so that could, you I keep mean, up with could it? You, could you imagine a Sonic game where the only method you, only way you can go faster in there is flying through hoops? <laughs> Uh, the, it's like, okay, uh, seriously though, what is up, again, uh, what is up with game designers' fascinations with making us fly through rings? This came out two years after Superman 64. I know, I'm, not, I'm just talking about Superman 64, I mean, it's Superman 64, the Knights games, um, the Spyro games also do it uh, uh, Yeah, the Knights games, the Knights games, oh, oh, you mean those hoops. Well, to be fair, well, to be fair with the Knights games, it kind of made sense because, like, well, the idea was to sort of train the player to fly and also pull off magnificent stuff. Yeah. Oh, and, and not I, to mention the fact, oh, not still, mention the fact that there's you still are hoops, absolute... There's still <laughs> hoops, Java. That's not, oh. it's not the, it, I'm not putting the quality of the I game don't... in question. I'm just saying that we're still flying through hoops. Oh, uh, hey, hey, Patrick, what guess, I'm saying guess what is I, I guess I just feel that the Knights into Dreams games actually had a purpose as opposed to it just being a fad. Hey, Patrick, guess what else is going on? Hold on, hold on. What is it, Whips? Guess what else this, this this game has in common with Superman 64? Bad, con bad flying controls. Well, Warner Brothers, but... Um, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, okay, so yeah, the Knights games, uh, this game, Superman 64, <laughs> the Spyro games do it at some points. Um, mm -hmm. the, uh, I'm, I'm glad that fad's died out. The, the, t the Some of the Tales side missions uh, in Sonic 06, like it's... What the fuck? Alright, we're done. No, not yet, I gotta grab the key. Oh, and it's pretty finicky. Oh, and Star Fox, the original Star Fox did that too. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. That'd be an interesting thing to look into, actually. Maybe try and figure Yay. out why. Yay, we did it. So now it's the chess game, I'm guessing, or am I yeah. remembering things wrong? Oh, um, yeah, the, the the chess games. Yeah, the the, the chess games next. So that's not till the next part. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're almost done. So. Yeah, don't worry. Basically, I'm just looking around to see if there's a book, but there isn't, so, um. Hmm. I guess I just gotta. get through Come this on. one. Come on, Harry, don't be nervous. It's not like I'll have to edit out the chess game from an hour or anything. Oh, dear. Oh, well, what do you know, Shiro? You were right. There are a plethora of backwards compatible PS3s on Amazon. Yeah, they're Again, all available. They, they are through other sellers, but... Yes, 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 they are actually available through sellers that aren't eBay. Yeah, and by this point, they're actually uh, pretty good. To, uh, if you can find one that is uh, rather cheap, I would definitely go for it because it's definitely a, a, a great uh, uh, version of the PS3 to have. They all move one square at a time. You'll have to make the pieces fight. I, I haven't got it because, because I have. So yeah, I, in this okay. in this version, you don't actually play chess. You just make the pieces destroy each other. But um, but we'll get more into that when we get to part twelve. See you then. Indeed. See you then. Sure. See you everybody.